Well, I've still got uh, Francis Chilaka right here on the show. He's the executive director of programs at KUTH Foundation. Now, KUTH have been in the forefront of organizing a community-based football tournament known as the KUTH Founder Foundation Soccer in Festac Town, Lagos. Now. I, I know Festac a whole lot, and I know that when it comes to talent, the lot of talents, they're not just football now, even in basketball, a lot of other sports, we have these guys who are in Festac. Some of them are quite unknown, and uh, we just hope that someday these guys will get to come out. Now, firstly, what does KUTH stand for? Keep Up The Hope Foundation. Mm, keep, up the hope. keep Up The Hope, yes. We, we believe that um, there's need to impact in the lives of the younger ones mm. and the only way we could do that is to get them out of the street out of drugs yeah out of prostitution um out of armed robbery and all of that so that is what led to the founding of Kut foundation mm. so we, we when i looked at it how do we go about our own advocacy you know what can we do to bring the young people together. Mm. I mean, if you're going to be talking about societal vices, mm. you can't talk about it without those who have to benefit from it being there. Yeah. And we looked at two things. We looked at sports, we looked at entertainment, which is yeah. music. True. So we know that if you're having a football tournament, for instance, all the youths will gather because mm -hmm. Nigerians love football. football. And so we use it as a platform to preach against societal vices. Mm. Okay. Now, um, talking about the Code Foundation now, the tournament you had in uh, First Stack, I learned that it's the third edition. Yeah. Now, the first two editions, how um, would you rate it compared to what we had just recently? Well, you know, each time you start a new program, you have kind of, you're, you're not too sure whether it will succeed or not. Mm. But the first one was good. Um, we had a lot of youth turning out, mm -hmm. but the second one was something else. Definitely. But this third one is, the, the, the patronage was more, at least the first two, we didn't have anybody coming in to sponsor. sponsor. Yeah, but this one we had, you know, few organizations coming to partner with us mm -hmm. because they've looked at what happened in the first and the second season. And this third season was, the theme of this third season is Corbin Societal Vices in the 21st century in Nigeria. Mm. So we, we had a, it was actually a 14 days tournament, program, tournament with 32 teams. Wow. Yeah. You were able to get 32 football, teams all from Festac? No, 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 no. Okay. Football academies. Academies, okay. Registered ones, okay. 32 of them across Lagos State. Mm. We had as far as, we went as far as Aja, we had people from Ajegune, mm. we had teams from um, Yaba. We, and then we had, well, most of the, we had 10 teams from Festac. Because that is where we know that there's so much vices that mm. needs to be curbed. But all these teams that came, they also came with their supporters. Okay. So it was it was it was wonderful. It was um, uh, was a good experience. And then we had um, somebody coming to talk to the youths mm. on the need to shun societal vices. Now we know that um, when it comes to um, motivational talks like talks like mm. this, and of course wanting to advise the youth. Most times we do not get to listen, but we need something to bring us close. We need something as good as sports and entertainment. These are the kind of things that will attract the youth to always, when we participate, then someone comes out to talk to us. We get to listen more than just coming there to just listen to someone talk to us. Now, you mentioned 32 teams. It means that we had over 100 players feature in this tournament. Yes. Now, where I'm going to is that we keep talking about grassroots. We keep talking about developmental sports. Mm -hmm. And um, the NFF, the Nigeria Football Federation, keeps complaining that we don't have homegrown players to feature for the Super Eagles. But yet, we see these competitions day in, day out. And the NFF keeps saying that they can only get to the grassroots. But has there been any link with the Coat Foundation and the NFF? We reached out to them. Mm. Incidentally, we didn't get the feedback. But Lagos State Government was really involved um, through the Ministry of um, Sports. Sports. And, yeah, the uh, Amwad of Luka government was also there. Okay. Uh, they supported us um, and all of it. So they, they say the problem with football is not that these teams are not available. It's just that um, the finances mm. to organize such tournaments, tournaments are hardly there. You know. So and when you reach out to corporate organizations for support, it's always 
you know, difficult mm. to really get them. But I'll say that this third season, we really had people, even individuals, okay. you know, supported Donated. us. Because, because not only the sports, we had a one, um, a five days um, free medical test. Oh, okay. We had a dental clinic, you know. The whole idea is we wanted the whole community, especially the FESTA community, to be fully engaged in okay. it. And they all came out. Wow. And we're happy with that. And, you know, the, on the opening day, the local government chairman was there from the beginning mm. to the end. Okay. You know, uh, a former member of the Lagos State House of Assembly was also there. And some other ex Flying Eagle stars were there. Oh, wow, wow. The likes of Victor Agali, and they were all there. Wow. And, you know, the way they, they also spoke. Mm. To, um, to the youths there, so and they encourage them, and we know that um, there's also, there's also um, some white guys who came scouts to, scouts yeah oh, wow yeah they came and we already know that they've started talking to some of the academies now on mm. you know regarding who they want and all of that so mm. the whole idea is not only do we talk to the youth, but we help to empower them empower through them. sports. Mm. All right. Now, for um, the scouts, I was going to mention that the scouts, that what do these players get to um, win apart from the cash prize now? Uh, now, that, now that you've mentioned the, the, the scouts, I'm sure there's a process where these guys will get to be seen and uh, more trials will be done until they get to that level where we'll say, okay, these guys have flown international. Now, looking forward to the next um, event, uh, next uh, tournament, um, what are those things that you need to put in place and uh, um, how do you feel the NFL will, NFF will get in touch with this and make it bigger than what it is now? Well, I think, I think too, why the NFF didn't really get involved is that um, we started our planning late okay. and we reached out to them late. But for the next season, uh, we're going to reach out to them early enough. Okay. Uh, we're going to you know, try to partner with them mm -hmm. from the scratch to the end. Uh, we're also going to encourage more scouts. We're talking to all, like uh, we talked about um, Egalo, he's an ambassador of Code Foundation. Mm, okay. and yes, we, you know, and we know that he was been speaking with him and he's also talking to some other um, people, Nigerian pro uh, professional footballers. Okay. So the next edition is going to be more of them coming to see who they can take. Mm. Immediately, okay, and you know, like we had, like I said, we had 32 teams. It was all knockouts. Oh wow! Yes, it was okay. all knockout. The best, and of, and interestingly, some of the best teams left at the first round. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, for next year, we're really we're, we're going to start planning from January. Okay. You know, putting our house in order, and we don't even intend doing the next one in first stack. Oh, okay. Yes, we're hoping that if we can get the kind of partnership we got in the last one from Lagos State Government, we're looking at the. Um, the stadiums, oh, okay. the one at the, the Unicor Stadium, okay. hopefully, we're looking at it. We hope that the Lagos State Government would partner with us because seeing what we've done, uh, I mean, anybody who came to that program will tell you, yes, um, it's not just football, but it's, mm. it's about getting people out of the hoods mm. and, you know, giving the youths the hope which we preach about. Mm, very true. Now let's let's take this to um, education now because back then um, some of us got into sport way back long time ago. Mm. Some of us got into sports, and our parents had this mentality that um, sports was f more for college dropouts. They never supported. Most of them didn't support the fact that we were interested in sports. I, for example, I wanted to play basketball professionally, but my parents felt like it wasn't good for me that I should go for. <laughs> I should attend uh, my classes yeah. first. I should uh, go to school first. But it got to a point when some sports people were even using sports to gain admission sure. into school. Now, with the Code Foundation, um, some of these players mm. might have graduated or might not even be uh, in the university. Is there anything um, the Code Foundation is doing to salvage this situation? Okay, running up to this competition, we, we bought forms for close to 50 indigent students in First Stack. Okay. see forms. And um, we gave them the forms, helped them to go back to where they could learn, yeah. you know, study and then, and then we also have, um, we have told them, if you make all the grades and you get admission, we would be there to give you some form of um, support. Support, yes. Okay. Now, for the winners, this is, this is where we come in. Okay. We have always insisted that the, 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 the winning prize is not money to share. Because we know that amongst these clubs, there are people who want to go back to school. 
Okay. So we encourage the team owners, the club owners, okay. to ensure that whatever money they win, those club members that are looking for how to go back to school. Mm. We've already identified some of them in this, the three clubs that the first, second, and third club. So we are talking to the owners that please make sure you help them, you know, a percentage of the winning should go to their own education as well. Oh, okay. Because that's the only way you can empower people. They, they're playing for your club, yes, we know. But, and that's why for this team, this um, last competition, we made the form so cheap. Mm. We didn't want it to be as if, the form was just 10,000 Okay. But the winner goes on with two million era. But we are telling you that out of that two million era, sixty percent of it should go to creating education fund for your club members, mm, for right your team there. members, rather. Thank you very much for your talks right there about the Code Foundation, keeping up the hope. And we believe that this will go on and on and will get to take away the social vices in our society and, of course, make Nigeria a better place for each and every one of us to stay. Thank you very much, Francis, for coming to the Thank studio. You. Thank you very much. We hope to have you again. And maybe by then you'll be sponsoring a bigger football uh, event and uh, maybe I'll get to play football. Yeah, we're thinking, of, it, we're so. thinking of organizing one between maybe March... June for ladies. Mm, okay, ladies, wow, yeah. that's good. Female football, we're thinking about it yeah. uh, because they've, they've, they, a lot of them have approached us. So mm. we're thinking about having something, maybe just 12 teams or 10 teams, okay. but something to also be Put gender sensitive. As well. 